In earlier lecture, we have learned about the basic primitives of solids or standard solids. In this lecture, we are going to learn about some navigation tool which is being used in this 3D module. We are already in 3D module of AutoCAD. Now, on the right side of this screen, you can see there are two bars. One is this and this wheel is there. These are the navigation tool. We have uh, learned navigation tool in 2D module also where we were uh, drawing our 2D drawing or we were drafting our 2D drawing. Now here, how we use this tool? Before using this tool, we should have a 3D model in our screen. So before starting, I am creating a 3D model. Now for this thing, first of all, I am making this screen in isometric mode so for the isometric mode go to this window click SW isometric now your skin has been converted to isometric mode now I'm selecting one primitive that is box the easiest primitives now I'm Now this is the box. Now here are two tools. You can see earlier it was the top side was at the in front of your screen. Now it is in the isometric mode. So how we can use this wheel? One icon is displaying on this just like home. Click here to go home or the initial condition of this system like this one fly out is there click here and now you can select the two view mode one is parallel that is working right now other one is perspective you can see the change in the perspective or you can say in perspective as the eye view these are the two basic used mode of the displaying of your 3d model now generally we use parallel I'm clicking on the top of the box here you can this is the top is given four arrow are given on the four sides of this box now what are these click here on this right side arrow now it will automatically rotate the box into the 90 degree angle now click here again it is rotating the box in 90 degree like this like this like this like this like this and you can change the view directly or dynamically again you can rotate 90 degree with the help of this arrow. like this like this to go to the previous condition these are the UCS given user coordinate system currently we are using world coordinate system we will learn this in some next lectures to go home it is going to the initial condition now I'm clicking again on the top Currently we are in perspective, so click here to go to the parallel. Now these are four directions are given, north, west, south and east. You can make this direction in front of the screen. It depends on the requirement for the viewing of the, your object on in which sector of engineering you are working. It depends on that. Now this is again some more command of navigation the very first is straining wheel now click here and you can see this is straining wheel is moving with your cursor so you can dynamically use all your navigation tool with your cursor 
like you want to rotate this object so click orbit and you can easily rotate your model now zoom you can easily zoom like this you can pan you can pan your model onto the screen look like this just click and drag all the object you can use with click and drag and if you don't want to use this now click cross and you are come out of the command now to go home now click front now again we are in perspective mode we are see the lower rear view bigger than the front so click here to convert it into the parallel view now click I want to make it isometric to make this isometric click on the corner of this square click here it will automatically go into the isometric view the second command is panning now click here you can pan your object onto the screen right click and then exit to come out the command again is zoom zoom extent suppose your model is not being on your screen and you want to fit your model onto the screen so for this purpose this command is given click here all the object which is available on your screen will come in in front of your screen or will fit to the display screen like this a lot of zoom options are available when you click on the flyout given under the zoom extent currently we are using zoom extent zoom window zoom window is nothing what you can click and you can select the zoom window and the area under this zoom window will automatically zoom to your screen now control Z for return or undo now click again on this flyout zoom previous zoom real time real time will dynamically zoom you can drag up and down your mouse and then you can easily see the zoom in zoom out dynamically zoom all this is nothing but the zoom extent zoom dynamic is again it's just like zoom window zoom scale you can parametrically given the value of the scale and your model will uh, enlarge or uh, decrease the size but it is only for the viewing not for the dimensioning purpose zoom center you can create the center and now you can see zoom enter magnification or height i am saying six yes now according to the center it will create the height of the zoom now zoom object you can select the object and it will fit to the screen if you have multiple object onto the screen and you want to uh, see the one object at a time and to the to fit the screen at that time this command is very useful you can select any object uh, out of them and that particular object which will fit to the screen orbit whenever you are working on 3d this orbit is very very useful because select this command and click left button of your mouse and hold and you can move your mouse holding your left button pressed and then you can move or rotate your object any side or freely rotation to see all sides of your object this is a very useful command now to come out I'm clicking here saying top you can see coming with the isometric now these are the navigation command available in AutoCAD these are very useful command